Hi everybody, Doug Hippie here again from EAC Product Development Solutions with another tip of the week. Oftentimes I get customers that ask me, hey Doug, can I open my Creo parametric files in Wildfire 4 or Creo Elements Pro 5.0? Of course my response is absolutely, but there are some caveats. We'll describe the caveats and then I'll show you where you need to go in order to do this. So the caveat is pretty simple. You can open them up it retains all of your model history but you can't edit the history in other words if I want to change the value of a round can't be done in the earlier version you'll have to go back to Creo parametric in order to edit those things but for downstream manufacturing applications and things like that uh, it works quite well so if you have a customer that uh, you're working with who sent you a newer model and you need to open it work it up and work in it in an older version of Pro like Wildfire 4 or Elements Pro 5.0, you can open it up and you can do all your manufacturing processes on it without having any issues. Of course, if they send you a new model, you get all the retain all the benefits of associativity. So let's talk a little bit about how we do this. So go ahead to ptc.com and this is going to give you an idea of where you can get this information because there's actually two other elements that I want to describe as we go through. Go to ptc.com and then hover your cursor over the support brick and you can either select that support brick or you can go down into the Creo support page. It doesn't matter where. You can get to the same thing, same location by going to either one. Now, you'll want to log in. Make sure that you're logged in if you're not. And in this case here, I'm already logged in. In the knowledge base search field here, right below where it says popular tools, Go ahead and type in open Creo parametric in Wildfire 4 and then search for that topic. What you're going to see is the very first uh, topic that comes up is how to open Creo parametric 1.0 files in Pro Engineer Wildfire 4 or Wildfire 5. Go ahead and select that. Now there's a couple of differences. You can actually open up Creo Elements Pro 5.0 files in Wildfire 4, 3, or 2 if you would like, but that actually requires a granite kernel that, need, kernel that needs to be downloaded and then that plugin needs to be installed into your version of 2, 3, or 4. Not that big of a deal, I'll show you where you can go to get that. But the main element here is, is if you went to Creo Parametric or you have a customer that's went to Creo Parametric and you need to open that file up in Wildfire 5, Creo Elements Pro 5.0, or Wildfire 4. It's a very simple task. There's a .dll file called read newer models .dll that's in the install or the load point of Creo Parametric. So you will have to have that. Or you can reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to forward that file to you. Okay, so there's several different areas here. Uh, in this article, you're going to see uh, how to save back, or actually it's not saving back. It's opening up in an older version. And it goes through how to do it for Wildfire, Pro 5.0, and for, for Creo Parametric files. Now if I scroll down here, you're going to see uh, down in the case files, these are all questions that customers have asked. The third one here says, customer needs assistance to open Creo Parametric 1 files in Creo Elements Pro 5.0. Go ahead and select on that one. In that one here, it says that the closure details or the solution is Copy read newer models.dll file from your installation directory of Creo Parametric 1.0 and then paste it into your Wildfire 5 or Elements Pro 5.0 load point in the machine type folder and then in the OBJ folder. Let's take a look at this first. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to where my Creo Elements or my Creo Parametric resides. Okay, I happen to have it in here. And I'm going to search for this read newer models.dll file. Now, I already have it pre created in here for, to search. So you'll need to type that in, or you can say read newer star.dll or read newer .star, star. You can use wildcards for that to get it, but the closer you get to it, the fewer uh, choices you're going to end up with. Take that file, right click on it, and select copy. Okay? Now, once that's been copied, you're going to then need to go over to your load point of Wildfire 4, Wildfire 5, or Creo Elements Pro 5.0. In that load point, you're going to see a folder called x86e underscore win64. 
and then you're going to see a folder called OBJ. Paste that read newer models.dll file into that OBJ folder. So let's take a look at what the result of that is. I'm going to go ahead now and open up Creo Elements Pro 5.0, and I'm going to open up a Creo parametric file. So when I say file open, pick on MISC data here. Let's get back over here. Hang on. And I open up this file that was created in Creo parametric. I'm going to get a little bit of a warning. You're opening a Creo Elements Pro part in, created in Creo 1.0. Would you like to proceed to opening it as a granite model? Now, even though it's a granite model, you're still going to have access and be able to see and search and seek out for features. So if I highlight in the model tree the protrusion there, you'll notice that it also highlights in my graphic window. But if I right-click on it to edit it or edit the definition, you'll notice that that's not an option. Okay? You'll be able to see all of this information. And of course, if somebody makes a change in Creo Parametric, you'll also be able to bring that changed model in and regenerate anything that you've done. Now, in the event that you decide, you know, I need to add some draft to this part or I need to add another feature or what have you, you can go ahead and add features. It's not an issue. It's not going to be a problem. And if you save that file and send it to Mr. Customer or to whoever it is that uh, is using Creo Parametric, They'll open it up in Creo Parametric, and they're not even going to know the difference that it was done in Creo Elements Pro 5.0. If you want to know more about the Granite plugin that you need to have in order to open up Creo Elements Pro 5.0 files in Wildfire 2, Wildfire 3, or Wildfire 4, reach out to your EAC Product Development Solutions Account Manager. Tell them that you saw Doug's tip of the week on opening up newer versions of Creo Parametric in older versions of Pro Engineer Wildfire, and that you want to get some information on using that Granite plugin. This is Doug Hippie from EAC Product Development Solutions, wishing you to have a great week.